Hello guys, welcome to Lally's Ed Hub and today um, we are going to um, learn how to do reference um, without um, your coordinate system so in case you are given a map like this and you don't seem to have any coordinate system here you can still do reference and it's possible so for today's session um, we are going to learn how to do that manually so there are actually two ways you can do this right there are two ways so first of all you can um, choose to enable your grid system and to do that you can come to your layer then you right click on your layer then you come to data frame properties then you select grid then you can add a new grid then you select the graticals that is it divides the map by meridian and parallels like what we have here so you see when you select this this what comes when you select this this what comes so you select the graticals so it comes like this then you click on OK next then you can select graticals and labels so you see it comes in degrees minutes and seconds next next so if you want a border you can then you can click on finish so when you are done this will be selected so you just apply and okay so when you are done it's not going to appear like this so what you have to do is to come to your uh, map or your yeah or your print layout or you can also come here the layout view so what we have here is the data view so when you're done you can just come to this section which is the layout view then you see it's in the form of a grid system then you can zoom in to see it clearly so you can go back here to your data and zoom in so you can see the features then you see it is done nicely so you have your good systems here aligned perfectly so you can save this map so to save the map you can come to files export map then save it in a form any form you want to it's mostly good to save it in the form of a portable network graphic that is the png and you give it a name and the resolution um, at default is 96 but the higher your resolution the higher you see and um, each items so i'll recommend at least 300 dots per inch as the resolution so you can easily change the resolution but i recommend 300 dots per inch so when you're done then you click on save so when you click on save you save it in a folder where you can easily connect it then you can go back and upload this that image so for so uploading my image this is what you'll be getting so with your grid system then you can easily to reference it here so when you save it you come to your catalog then it's there then you just drag it to your workspace and start working so that's what is going to come then you will enable your georeferencing tool then you start your control point so as you can see i've already georeferenced it so it is there so let's assume you want to georeference it you just 
select then you right click then we input dms of longitudes and latitudes so we are coming to input degrees degrees minutes and seconds of the latitudes and our longitudes then you select the second option and not the first option and as you can see it is um, automatically and um, there for us so one minute 49 sorry one degree 49 minutes and 30 seconds one minute 49 30 west and the latitude is and um, five degrees zero minutes and zero seconds then you click on ok then it will do reference for you then you can do the same to the other point as well you right click you left click input dms and it's there for you nicely so when you are done so i've already you referenced mine so there's no need to reference it again so you can follow the processes in georeferencing from my previous video so if you don't know how to do reference you can go back to my previous video and learn how to do reference there so this is actually the basic step so when you're done then you come and open your view link table and your root mean error um is here so the error is accumulated and um, when you find the distances between your starting location and your end location so that is basically what the root mean error is about so it has been already calculated here for you so there's no need to do any um calculations again so this is our total um root mean squared error so you can see um the Georeferencing is very easy. So let's quickly go back to the second way um, of manually georeferencing our image. So we can do away with this image now. Then we open our first map, our initial map. So we can zoom to layer update your referencing so in case you find it and um, difficult to use my first approach you can use the second approach by still um, opening your referencing tool and mind you you are supposed to select the image you are working with so right now I'm not working with this image I'm working with my Takradi image, so I select this. So the face, the the same process applies to the first one. You make sure you select the image you are working with. So I'm working with the Takradi image, so I select it and select my control point, and you can see it has already been georeferenced. So in case you want to do it, you right click, in left click inputs degrees milliseconds of latitude and it's there then you click on ok then it will do references nicely for you so this is basically um the processes of um georeferencing using my two methods so first of all you can go to your data or your layout view and create your grid or you can manually select it by using this approach then you later open your data view your view link table and find your root mean square error so guys thank you for watching this short video and i hope and um, this is very helpful and if you don't know how to digitize kindly go back to my first and uh, my previous video and and learn how to and um, digitize them thank you and stay tuned for more